Before I get into this video, I just want to apologize for the terrible video quality of this video. It was filmed with a GoPro Hero 3 Plus on a head strap, and it felt really secure on my head, but the video was just extremely shaky, so it, I don't know, just the image stabilization software of the GoPro Hero 3 Plus is just terrible. Don't buy that camera, even though it's quite a few years old now. I tried to stabilize the video through iMovie editing software. And what's that done, or what that has done, if you look at the edges of your video, the, the frame of the video, it's just kind of flip-flopping all over the place. So that's just something we're going to have to deal with for today's video. I'm definitely going to upgrade my camera equipment in the future. With that being said, I can get into what this video is about. So this video is going to be about why I hate the Arians auto turn feature and why I think it's terrible. You know, it's actually quite ironic because the auto turn feature is one of the features that really attracted me to the Deluxe 30 model made by Arian. So let's get into it. What is an auto turn feature? What does it do? What is the difference between that and other models? So basically when it comes to snowblowers that have wheels, you have two different types of drive systems. You have basically a fixed axle, which those are generally the cheaper snowblowers, meaning that when you need to turn the machine to the left or right, both tires will turn at the same rate. So if you want to turn the machine to the right, you basically need to skid one of the tires on the ground in order to turn it. Now to the consumer, you know, that sounds pretty terrible. That sounds like a lot of work to, you know, fight that resistance of the tire on the ground. The auto turn feature is supposed to alleviate that. You can think of the auto turn feature, it's pretty similar to a, basically a limited slip differential in that if you want to turn the machine while it's moving forward or backwards, the machine senses that pressure that you're pushing on one side of the machine unequally, and it allows you to turn the tires at different rates. So if I want to turn to the right, I put some pressure on the left side of the handle and try and propel the left side of the machine forward. The left wheel spins faster than the right wheel, and therefore the wheels don't skid and you turn the machine and what I thought that would do, I thought that would make operating this machine a lot more easier than having to fight the resistance of a fixed axle. Now, I tested this machine in what I like to call virgin snow. Um, I tested it on the grass, which that, that's virgin snow, meaning that it's just fallen. Um, there hasn't been any compact snow on it or anything like that. There's no uneven pressure on the augers or the cutting edge. And the auto turn feature actually did extremely well in flat conditions with virgin snow. I had no issues. But let's be real. You're not always going to face, face conditions like that. For example, this video, a family member had already snow blown most of my driveway. I was away at work for a couple days and I came back home. And there was a lot of cleanup to be done. A lot of you know snow that had been um, taken off cars and people had stepped on and then also at the end of the driveway you know the, the snow plow guy comes by and he leaves these big berms and uh, they can be kind of challenging to cut through with a snow blower so here's where the auto turn feature of Arians is just absolutely terrible so what happens let's say you're cutting into a bank that's mostly on the left side of the machine you'll have more resistance on the left side of the machine and the machine mistakes that resistance for you trying to push with the right handle and try and turn the machine to the left. So in order to keep the machine going straight, it requires a lot of effort and a lot of pressure to be placed on the left handle, pushing on the left handle and pulling back on the right handle um, to keep this machine going straight. So, ironically, the auto turn feature for me has turned out to be more work than what I believe a fixed axle machine would accomplish. So, that's just a short little video on why I hate the auto turn feature, why I think it's terrible. Perhaps it's, it's going to be fine in ideal virgin snow conditions, but again, you know, you're going to have a lot of instances where you're going to need to go through berms at the end of your driveways and where you're going to have to go over compacted snow. So... My recommendation is stay away from the auto feature or the auto turn feature. Buy a fixed axle snowblower, which they are significantly cheaper. And that's pretty much that. I'd love to hear what Arians has to respond to this if they watch this video, but I am not a fan. Thanks for watching. Ready?